Hello, everybody. This is the Blogwell planner I received at the Blogwell retreat that I went to last weekend. And if you didn't see the video I did with Rebecca from Rebecca's Roadmap, where we sort of reviewed and talked about what we what we really got out of that retreat, I will link that below so you can watch that. This is a quarterly blog planner for serious entrepreneurs. And it's Katie Warner, and it's her brainchild, this Blogwell planner. She is the woman who organizes these blogging successfully blog, blog well retreats, okay? Here is all her social media, and I will put a link to how you can receive one of these, how you can purchase one of these, okay? And then this is the table of contents. This is a note from Katie, and she talks about how there are videos that you can go watch that tell you how she intends you to use this planner, how she intended it to be used. Now, of course, you can tweak it however you want to fit you. And there's also printable tabs and stickers that go with this that you can get. Okay, so for me, this is going to be third quarter that I'm using this planner. How to use your Blogwell planner. I, I'm not going to go through this because she did walk us through this at the retreat, so I don't think I need to read that whole thing. Okay, so she has the U.S. holidays for 2018 through 20. Then she has the yearly calendars 2018 through 2021 and any special dates. For me, I think what I would put here is any big promotions I want to remember or any trainings I'm going to that are out of town. I think those are, that would be awesome to put here. By the way, I'm filming in a different area and I think the lighting is a lot better. So let me know what you think compared to my other videos, the way I've filmed. All right. I kind of like this with all the circles here. This is year at a glance promotions. And so you can kind of spell out what your big promotions will be for each month. And I'm just starting this in July. So of course I'm not going to go back and put all that in, but you could. And then these are your big goals, your at a glance, big goals. So that's really nice to have. This is your professional development. So any classes or training you might be going to, I joined Katie's blog connection group. It is a monthly subscription. And it is $37 a month. And you can, you get video training on blogging. You also get access to her private Facebook group with everybody helping each other out with questions. She answers questions. She, a lot of times, will just put some things out there for you to look at. And I know because, I'm, you know, I went to the Blogwell retreat and I'm going to convention next week, which is basically a week long for me with the drive and everything. So I will not be able to delve into this as much as I'd like until July. So that's going to be my big thing is getting as much out of that in July and then moving forward. And I don't know. I may find other classes that I just have to do, right? <laughs> I know I'm going to go to Pinner's conference, but I don't know how much professional development that will be. This is for you tracking your income. So I don't know. I'm assuming this is net because she has another place for your income and expenses. So if you don't have a place you already track this, this is wonderful. Plus, it's all in one place. That's nice, too. Goals for this quarter, you circle the quarter number, personal goals, professional development goals, business project goals, and financial goals. So mine is starting in July. These are your month's focus. What are you going to focus on this month? And I love the quotes that she's put throughout. They're really ins nice, inspirational quotes. Here's a notes page. Then here is for the month, those same goals but you're splitting them up for the month now, not for the whole quarter. So what are you going to focus on this month? Then there is this finances and personal development page. So here's your expenses and your income. And I'm assuming you are going to do the math and figure out positive or negative number and put it on that income tracker. Hopefully not too many months in a row with a negative number. <laughs> My goal right now is just to break even with all the training and things I'm doing. Okay, so these are the books you're reading for personal development. Um, these are the classes and trainings that you're going to do for July. Then over here is mapping out or just jotting down the titles or the subject of the blog post that you want to do. For me, these are also YouTube videos. I do a YouTube video and a blog post for every one of these subjects. And on my blog, I, I include a lot more pictures and a lot more detail and a lot more links. So it's a little more detailed. But I also include the video in that blog post. So everything's all in one right there. And then these are the promotions. 
These are affiliate links. Okay, so I don't have any affiliate links right now, which they talked about a lot. I have, I'm the, one of the, my streams of income is my, fun, I'm a coach for Fun Samper's Journey. So when I use the products, which I mostly do because they're really high quality and that's why I join the company. When I use the products in my cards or my mixed media or anything, if people click through and purchase those, then I receive a commission on that. Now, they talked about Amazon affiliate links, which does not pay well. I understand it's not a big deal if you're not getting a lot of clicks. And also, if you're not getting enough clicks for Amazon to think it's worth it, they're going to take this back away from you. So I don't know that I'll actually attempt this in July, maybe August or September when I have more traffic. Because my traffic is starting to pick up now, but which is nice. So this is week one. You kind of really map out these blog posts that you're going to do in week one. And this is week one email planner for your email subscribers. I usually only send out once a month, but I think I might start doing twice a month. I don't know. Look at all these that she has each week. There is no way I can keep up with that and get all my other content done. So, and then this is week two, and it goes for every week of July or whichever month you're starting this in. Then she has this kind of daily, how you want your days to look, like your ideal schedule. Well, this, this one doesn't really work for me because the before eight isn't big enough. And I've been getting up at 5.30 and working in the morning because I have to leave at 6.30-ish. Well, I've been up between 5 and 5.30. I have to leave at 6.30-ish and I'm gone until ooh, a little after one. So you can see that I'm going to be working later in the day. I'm going to be working. Um, probably relaxing a little bit when I first get home because I'm exhausted um, when I first get home. And then I'll be doing some things into the evening for my business. I'll be writing at night. And then on, so I just kind of put what my focuses would be for the day. That's how I'm using it. Write post for the blog and my newsletter. Just write. Edit and upload videos and blog posts that I've already done the week before. Big projects. So I'm going to work on my opt-in and, and some crafty kits that I'm putting together that I will be selling in the future. I'm beta testing them in July. So I'm really excited about them. Anyway, and then this is continued education. Continued learning is Wednesday. I have an admin day on Thursday. It can actually be any carryover that I didn't finish from these other days. But it is filing. It is going back and fixing some things on my blog that they mentioned that they pinnable pictures and some more links and different things that I'll be going back and fixing on my blog and just making it more vibrant and it more and so that Pinterest will like it more when I pin my posts, basically. Okay, Friday is my create and plan day. So I'm going to make any projects that I'm going to be filming. And I'm going to plan out the next week. Whatever I'm getting accomplished here the next week or the week after that. However far ahead I get, which I hope I get to where I'm working far ahead. And then this is my filming day. So you can see if I don't get all of this done, then I don't have content. Because I've split it up into different days. If I just film, well, I haven't edited, uploaded, scheduled, add the pictures and the links and all of that. And so those videos are not going to go up. Oh, anyway, I've got to get all of that done in a week. So this is the monthly calendar. And I've already put in all the updates and the basic things I want to do. So this, the themes of my days, writing, editing, uploading, I put those here on every day. So it's kind of a visual reminder for me of what I intended to do. This, these are the videos that are going up. Normally I'm doing the videos and blog posts. Normally I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but we have a brand new catalog with some brand new products that I want to share with everybody. And so I'll be doing the new catalog reveal flip through on the first because that's the first day it goes live. I'm receiving it next week, but I can't share it until July 1. These are my big projects. Now this was just an open section, but I just decided to write these things in there. You can write whatever you want in there. This Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, that is to remind me I should be posting in them because I will get everything done and go, shoo, and I've not done that. i am not shared. This is the second calendar, which I will not be using. It is, she says to keep the personal calendar here and then refer back. So I won't be using that. I am doing one book July. So this is sort of my pre-planning chicken scratch for July, and I will be moving it into my full focus planner by Michael Hyatt that I'm using for One Book July. Okay, so this is the daily. 
And she has an I'm grateful for. Today I will. And these are your top three. These are all the different things you're posting to whichever social media you're on. This is your blog post, an email that you might have sent out, your affiliate links, your product or project that you were doing the blog post email on. This is your schedule, and it starts at midnight and goes all the way through to 11 p.m. So everybody should be able to use this schedule. <laughs> That's pretty much every, that is every hour in the day. If you can't use this one, then I don't know what. So these are all the dailies, and there's quite a few. Let me get to the end of these, and I'll show you what comes at the end. Okay, so here is, you circle the month, and whichever week you, you're kind of map, you're kind of tallying up. So have you made a fan today? Tally your customer touches. What she means by that is any personal contact you had with your customers, your followers, your subscribers, whatever that may be on each day of the week for the first week. And these are, you can write the different areas for you. Maybe you had a lot of comments on your blog, that kind of thing. And so those are personal touches if you replied to those. There's a nice quote here, and this is where you tally up however many customers, whatever, the touches for the week, okay? These are comments that you might have received. These are questions. These are technical issues you might have had. I hope I don't have to fill this out very often. Memorable surprises and other. So if you just want to put something else down. Okay. And then this is the same thing for week two, three, oops, four, and five. Okay, this is a visual planning and a note section. And this is for the month you just went over. So what you're going to do is map things out if you want to before you ever start planning out. Maybe you want to do a mind map or maybe you want to um, put some pictures in here for like a vision board of your month, whatever you want to do there. And then here's a big note section. If you need more room than, than you have in the other pages. Okay, then we start August, and it is the same thing. It's the same all the way through, and it has those same pages at the end, and your visual planning and your notes and everything. Okay, then you have your last month, your third month. We're going to go all the way through to the end of the third month because it's just the same stuff that you're doing. And I took notes at the retreat because I forgot my notebook in the hotel room one day, and so I use this for notes. Then, okay, these are contacts you made during the month. Maybe someone was interested in one of the kits that I'm, you know, shows an interest in it, and I've got their contact information for when it's ready to go, and I can let them know. That kind of thing. Or any new customers I have. Okay, so this is statistics. You circle whichever month. It's got one for each of the three months. Your page views, and she's talking about your blog. Page views, sessions, one-on-one -on -one sessions you might have had with someone because she does blogging training and all sorts of things. Unique visitors, your top post, your top social, your top refer. So who, where are you getting these uh, blog views from? For me, my top refer has been YouTube because I've been doing YouTube longer than my blog and I link to my blog for my YouTube post. So for me, it has been YouTube, but for you, it might be your Facebook group or Instagram, whatever it is, Pinterest, whatever it is, you're going to write that down for each month and see kind of what the flow is. And maybe you need to concentrate in some other areas because this one social media is outpacing everything else. Or maybe you want to post more to the one that's outpacing. Okay, any new subscribers? And then down here, there's extra areas. So I might split this up into YouTube subs, Facebook, like who's liking my page now? Have I added any? Um, Instagram followers, Pinterest followers. I might put those down here, but she's giving you room to do whatever you want. And then my review of this quarter, there's plenty of room to write here. And then she has a couple of blank pages. Maybe you want to start mapping out the next quarter. So you need to buy one of these each quarter. And there, she's, she gave these to us at the retreat. So I don't know the price, but I'm going to link below so you can check it out. And she also um, offered them to us who wanted to buy extra for $10 a piece, but that might have been a retreat price. I have been using in this these new Parku pens that I received to review, and I'm giving them a really good workout before I do the video to review them. These are erasable gel pens, and they're a little less expensive than friction, so I'm hoping I like them as much after I try them out. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. 
And I hope you got something out of this video. And again, check out Katie because she's got lots of great information. Happy planning, everybody.